You know, it's nearly a year to the day since our lives got flipped upside down, all right? And that is why tonight we're going to the Angel. Now, you guys won't know what the Angel is, but you have seen it. The Angel was the hotel after the car arson that we fled to and stayed at. It is a haunted hotel, but interestingly enough, and this is something I've always wanted to tell you guys, but I couldn't because at the time I was so afraid of somebody stalking us and all that, that I was not saying names of anything or anywhere we were staying or going. But you remember at that time period, that was during the monster time period, the demon that was attached to us. Mm -hmm. Also in that time period, we were doing lots of demon summonings, angel summonings, and we were seeing angel numbers everywhere. Mm -hmm. See, we were haunted by something so dark. And if you've been following the series this whole year, you'll know about it, right? And the one thing I always stuck by was that these angel numbers, it's, it was giving us a sign, essentially, yeah. that we were being watched over by angels while this thing had us. Now, I didn't know, because you, you do know the people of this hotel. Yeah. When we ended up there, I didn't know what the name of it was until we actually got there. Mm -hmm. And it was called The Angel. Interestingly enough, it was as if the universe was trying to give us a sign. Now, staying there, we did actually get to talk with... Um, well, a few of the workers there. Yeah, and, the manager and the boss. Yeah. yeah, and they were telling us some ghost stories about the place. They're saying they were seeing figures walking around at night and all that. So we managed to pull off a permission ghost hunt there tonight. We will have the place to ourselves mm -hmm. for the most part. And the reason that this sticker is significant, and this is this is a rough story. See, th this video, you guys, you're going to get a lot of insight into um, the car arson and everything happening. Because at the, this time last year, we had family members dying, we had other things we can't talk about, and we had um, the car arson that literally forced us to move across the country mm -hmm. and practically mentally crippled us yeah. for the better part of this year. That was awful. Now, in the midst of all this, while still dealing with police, while still going through PTSD and everything, one morning we woke up to this sticker just outside of our door. Yeah, and perfectly we, laid one out. Yeah, perfectly yeah. laid down. And we stuck it to the back of a candy wrapper, but we were terrified. We thought somebody had found us. Mm -hmm. It says, live in fear. It makes you easier to control. And at the time, we were we were living in fear. Mm. And like, also, this place is in the complete middle of the country. That's the other That's thing. why I picked the place in the first place, obviously, a year ago. Um, I know these people somewhat well. I wouldn't say, like, really, really close, um, but well enough um and yeah i just i rang them i was like look we need somewhere to flee can i come down because I, mm -hmm. I go down maybe once a year to see these kind of people but yeah i remember that like it was it, yesterday it felt like too much of a coincidence that that live in fear sticker yeah which, i know what it is all right you guys don't need to go in the comments and find you know say it but the thing is we were the only ones staying in this hotel mm. so no one has any idea how that ended up in our hallway they even checked cctv for us yep. said they didn't see anyone the the whole yeah. Time, yeah so what's even weirder is while we're there suffering um somehow the sticker ended up in front of our door out of all the doors it could have ended up we we're the only ones there and there was no one on cctv had left it they didn't have one in the hallway but they had one out at the doors also 
I think obviously you forgot to mention it was freshly peeled so yeah, yeah, it was, brand it was new. really windy like night um, and they said that if it was someone would have dropped in the car park over the time of it rolling down the car park at least got like a crumb on the back of it yeah when we got this and picked it up pristine it was pristine Absolutely. but the weird thing is there was no CCTV or there was CCTV at the doors at the entrances to the hotel yeah. there was nobody it just appeared. There was, and this was on, we were on a separate building and everything. Yeah. And it just appeared outside of our door. So anyway, the angel is significant to us because we experienced a lot of pain, hurt, heartbreak within those, uh, within those walls. Yeah, of course, yeah. But also, um, it, it is it is haunted. And I think seeing as this is now coming up to the year mark of when we stayed there, mm. I want to ghost hunt it. Okay. And I think it will be absolutely incredible mm -hmm. to, to do so. And I want to get our room. We'll ask if we can have the room we stayed in yeah. during that time. And we can kind of like just reminisce and talk about it while mm -hmm. doing our ghost hunt. I can speak to the manager. I'm sure they won't mind. I should be okay. Yeah. Well, right, funny well, we enough, I, I do find it room. crazy that we did we did keep it. Well, no, I didn't solid. realize you had it. Well, tell you what, before we go, oh, since it's sad, I didn't before we go, I'm actually going to put it in the case, in the memory case, because... This is quite significant. Where did you keep it all this time? What? In your wallet or something? It was just upstairs. Oh my god. Yeah, so... Put it there for now. As, I guess, to be immortalized in my case of collectibles yeah. for another part of our life. And our New Year's resolution, we will no longer live in fear. So yeah, as we're saying, this place is literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah. You have to drive well out in the boonies, and that, that's probably a test to why it doesn't seem to get too much business in winter. So that's probably why they're more open to us uh, having the place to ourselves. Yeah, uh, exactly. But well, you've got about another, I believe it's about two and a half miles of this. Yeah. And then you'll get one little straight road and then uh, back to country lanes. Yeah. I remember at night driving back to the hotel and just how anxious we were. Yeah, I remember this road very well. I remember we'd pull into the car park and I'd be checking cars to see if there's anybody sat in the car. Yeah. I was so paranoid that somebody was following us that I, I genuinely could not enjoy life whatsoever. I was always worried about cars following us. I had, uh, yeah, you were very paranoid. I, yeah, I remember there's a period where there was somebody behind me and we were going into where we're staying, I would drive and start doing some, like loops on other roads before going back to make sure there was no one behind. Yeah. I genuinely shit me the fuck up. How far are we now? Um, right, you're gonna have to be having your lights up because I always forget the turning. Uh, right, so past that signpost on the left, the glowing one, and yeah. then it should be on the right. Okay. So should I slow down or speed up? Uh, yeah, speed up, it's all right. Yeah. You want to start slowing it down around here. Yeah, there we are. Where the glowing tree is, where uh, the light is there. Yeah, 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 that's it. All right, right here. Um, God, I remember that lady by really well as well, the one over here. You used to pull in that all the time, didn't you? Where should I pull in? Uh, just here. Here? Yeah. And there's that sign. Welcome to the Angel Hotel. Again, it still blows my mind how angels were so significant to us. I know. And uh, we, we stayed in a place called the Angel. Well, that was the first time you actually recognised the sign up there, the, yeah. the angel up there, yeah. God, right. it feels really weird being back. Yeah, it does. Oh, uh, you want to park over there? You sure? Yeah. Okay, we'll park over there. I remember also, up here, I did a live stream. You did it on that balcony, didn't I you? Did in the rain? Right there in the rain, and I had a full-blown mental breakdown in front of everybody. I remember. This, this place actually, I, I, I looking back at it now, staying in this place probably wasn't the greatest idea is it's like isolating ourselves from everybody and well, yeah, we hiding just out. picked the middle of the country and just that went. room was ours wasn't it just yeah. up there just very top uh, where's the there it is yeah top left that's where we stayed in that room God, it's so guys, weird being back that light just turned on what light oh uh, no it went dim hold on watch it watch it watch it what light the middle one it just went like really bright for a second and then or turned on by itself and then dimmed i didn't spot that oh that's weird because okay. those aren't rooms, by the way, guys. Uh, those are that's the hallway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really no, weird. I just okay. saw, I saw the light off, and then it turned on, and then it turned off again. But I don't. See, there's nobody walking up and down the hall. Mm, that's strange. Okay. Yeah. Right. right. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Let's go in and do it. Okay. All right. Notice how. 
no traffic whatsoever. But you were telling me an interesting story, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I only thought about it because we're still outside of it. Um, I came here about three years ago, I think, to just come and see some friends and stuff. Um, it was snowing and everyone got snowed in here, so even I had to stay. Uh, and at one point, I remember one of the nights, people were all coming down this road, and I don't know why, they just kept crashing there. So it but into the tree? Uh, um, some yes, some no, um, but it might, it might have been black ice or something, but I remember specifically this entire road, it's like a five mile straight, nothing at all, but there, it was crash upon crash upon crash, and in this place was In inundated. front of the hotel? Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely inundated, See, I remember that's, it. that's interesting, that's like, sounds like some bad luck there. Yeah, well, I just felt sorry for everyone, because obviously we're all in like uproar, we're all really nervous and stuff, um, and yeah, I remember it got so bad, they actually asked me if I could get my car and put it around the back of the lot, because they had no parking for people, it was all just like roadside recovery, but... I remember this well. That's the dreaded words of <laughs> The angel. And this, interestingly enough, uh, they, well, she's doing reception. They're saying this, interestingly enough, this area, um, we were told by the staff that uh, basically they'd see apparitions walking through here at night and it creeped them the fuck out. But let's go do reception real quick. Oh, I thought there might have been reception there. Yeah. Oh. So exciting. <laughs> yeah, they'll be here in a minute. Because the guy from he was here. It was the the person who used to own is it the lawns? Yeah. One of them. If you want, roll the camera. Now. Obviously, we won't put this in. Remember the history. Yeah. Like, yeah. Obviously, so. Yeah. So what what experiences or what things do you think are here? Oh, things move, oh, you see people. Oh, I was up doing the blackboard one day, we did chat. Okay. <laughs> up doing the blackboard one day, and uh, you know when you see someone, I turned around and there was somebody sat in one of these chairs here. Really? I was leaving up doing that blackboard. In one of those oh, chairs. And when I turned around, I said, Oh, I'll be with you in a minute, I can't wait to turn around there. there. <laughs> no, and all creepy. I could see was dark hair, dark clothes, and um, we couldn't see the face, but you could see the hair. Yeah, yeah. Chef Bob, Bob. But so strange. There was one lady. She turns us. Who's that woman? I said, oh, yeah. What woman? She says, Why does this walk past? She says she's got grey hair. She's got black, long skirt right down to the ground with a pinny on. She was sitting in the restaurant. The woman was eating. There's a ghost woman eating. No, no, she oh. walked past somebody that was in there eating. Someone oh, just, just walked past and she was like, then, um, oh. Janet's Nigel. I came into work <laughs> one morning at 7 o'clock because he, he was... does not believe he's yeah. like, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. But he's going, yeah, 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 it's the spirits, all the spirits on the wall, you know. He was going on like that. Like yeah. the whiskey and that. He's yeah. That them spirits. Yeah. yeah. I said, all right, have it your own way. I come in at 6.30 one morning and he's out, sat out there. Outside. It's it's right. Right. It's just oh, shaking. Black said, I'm going back in there until somebody come in. He said, I've been out here since three o'clock. Oh I said, why? God. He said, Jeez. it was hoovering. He said, the hoover stop. I thought, you know, you pulled it too much and you yeah. pulled the plug. The out wire, the yeah, yeah. So he's gone round, he's pushed it in. Okay. Come back round, started it up again. Switched off again, but it had been switched off from the hoover. Oh. So oh. he turned around and he went, what the? And as he said that, a black mist come out of the kitchen. He couldn't even de describe yeah. it. It wasn't human. Yeah. Yeah, it was just yeah. a mass. I went straight across and he just went up this and he went straight outside. Can, oh, I, can I ask them, do you, have, do you have any reason to think this place would be haunted? Has anyone ever died here that you know of? Um, it's that, no, you've got to take into consideration that the main part of the building is over 100 years old. Yeah. yeah. And it was built for the railway. So, oh, okay. whether people died on the railway building it? Yeah. I don't know. Right. Gotcha. Um, things get moved, things disappear. Yeah. You know, we were in the kitchen one day, you know, yeah. barrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or someone turns in. <laughs> or I'm behind the bar serving. Oh! Someone Is this like a regular, like yeah, quite frequent yeah, stuff? Yeah. We had an awful lot when we were doing the function room, though, because we yeah. were renovating it. There's yeah. a real, like, somebody was really paid off. Wow. Okay. And then... I'm filming myself, don't worry. <laughs> Just, they don't want to be on camera, but these stories are epic. I, <laughs> I love hearing this. You know this. the um, still sizzlers? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. how heavy they are? Yeah. yeah. They were up on the top shelf and the whole lot just shot straight off. And when I say shot straight off, they went so flying. It down. sounds like a poltergeist of some sort here. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking about shadow figures, people, actual full body apparitions walking through. Yeah, and we've had somebody sitting yeah. down with yeah. Can I ask, do you have motion sensing lights? Like over there? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering because one of the lights, I, I noticed yeah, they'd they come, come on, on and off. Like those up upstairs will come I on. I will tell you now. But for no reason. 206, the TV 5, gets 6, on. and 7. The TV yeah. will get switched right. on and off. And is what? that the top right? The That's where you are. I used to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and you'll hear the walking along um, the corridor. I was sat here one no. morning. We had nobody in the hotel. Yeah. Um, sit there, I was just doing the computer, and the light came on. Be a fly or something, yeah. yeah. And then it just sounded like someone was pulling their, their bag, yeah. Oh, and you could hear the foot all the way along, right to the side. I literally was thinking, someone's going to come down them stairs any second, mm -hmm. yeah, because it was so prominent, obvious, yeah. That's, That's so brilliant. strange. Um, oh dear, well, what, <laughs> okay, what's we have had, and we have had somebody come out, and we've done a thing here, yeah. yeah. And they had those, um, what they call them, where the lights come on if... Red pod? Yeah, yeah. We, we have all and that yeah, equipment with they us, were, yeah. They kept going off. Really? But you've got the whole of the upstairs. Thank you so oh, much. So, party, if yes. I give you a key, you can get in every room, just don't go into hers, because... Yeah, no, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> 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 She'll sleep. She'll sleep. <laughs> She'll sleep. She'll be the to go sleep. <laughs> Get your clothes on, um, Janet! It cracks and creaks. And I'm well excited to do the upstairs and all that. Um, yeah. I was going to ask one other question. The room that we stayed in? Uh, that would be... The very back room, top floor over there. 100%. Is anyone staying in there tonight? Because I don't want to do anything in it. But we're kind of doing like a whole like documentary piece and talking about that what time of history. Uh, top left at the end. Right yeah. at the very end. Right yeah, at the, very right end. At the far, family far room. end. Two oh. over that size. Yeah, yeah. yeah two o four. I don't think there's anybody. No, there's no one in. Would we all spend five five minutes in there? The key that we've got is a master key, yeah. so yeah. you will be able to get into there. But Thank please you. take into consideration this value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't. We won't. Yeah. But over there, you go that way and up those steps. Yeah. Do on to the left way up. Yeah, yeah. That's all go straight. Okay, so. A lot, a lot of paranormal uh, activity apparently happens here, and I do apologize that they did not want to be on camera, but it is what yeah. it is. Um, the stories though were incredible. Yeah. So this, by the way, guys, is our first stop. Is actually going to be the room where we stayed after the arson. Yeah. yeah. So we have the full one of the hotel and this room. So this is all off bounds, but we can do the whole Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yep, 204. Turn the light on. It's like we never left. That's exactly how it was. Do you remember? Being back. Yeah, I know. I remember night after night, I couldn't sleep, and I'd just sit here in front of this mirror. Yeah. It just... I remember really well, yeah. God brings back memories. It's all the same pictures and everything. What? Why'd the light just do that? Don't, oh, maybe it's a motion sensor. No, you turn the light on, it shouldn't dim itself. I don't know. The light just tried to turn itself off. It's not motion sensor, too. Look, you got a light switch. It didn't do this when we stayed here. Oh, let me just try again. Okay. Maybe it does do that? It didn't when we stayed here. No. It's been almost a year. Jesus Christ, I can't believe this, though. I never thought I'd be stood back in this... <laughs> in this place. Not, in a, not obviously in a room, because it's a really nice hotel. I mean, just I like, never thought I'd be back in here after yeah, a year of... After what happened? Carnage, yeah. I know. It was brutal. Mm. Absolutely brutal. Yeah. I even remember the, the morning of waking up that you were, you were still in bed, and... That's when I saw the sticker and I came back in and got you, didn't I? Oh, yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. Because it was out on that, you know, that main door, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Well, I think regarding this part of the hotel, mm. from what they're saying, the paranormal activity may be a little thinner because obviously this is all new. Yeah. But across well, I didn't, that way, to that's be fair, what said. I didn't really come in here to ghost hunt. Like, I just just for your own personal experience. Just, yeah. 
Just yeah. for my own personal experience. Yeah, no, I understand. But they said obviously across the um the other way. I found it amazing what they said about the bar. Somebody was sat on the chair and then they went straight out, which the back of the office takes you immediately to the bar. Yeah. And they were there. That's incredible. Well, we get to go send it in a bit, so Yeah. Right. You okay? Yeah, turn on the light and then uh I don't think I'll ever want to step foot in this room ever again after this. The hotel I would, I just would Yeah, no, the, hot room. the hotel's yeah, lovely. This this room. room just has so much negativity. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, shall we go ghost hunt the angel? Yeah, All right. So that room's off limits, but all the other rooms are ours? And we get downstairs as well. Yeah, anything you want. Right. Right, so this was apparently the most haunted room. Do you want to start with this one? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Yeah? Okay. Oh, it's cold in there. Oh, oh it's okay. Okay. It's quite a grungy little filter, doesn't it? Like, it's darker than the other. It's others. nice. It just has like a, a vibe. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, get some That's equipment out. Good. Yeah. All right. Do you mind if I have a seat? I'm going to sit on the bed for a second. I was wondering, we were told to ask for the name Jack. Oh, fuck. Oh, whoa. Is there yeah, I know, I know. I'm grabbing the K2 meter. Do you want me to Whoa. Jack, is that, is that you? We were told to ask for Jack up here. We heard you like to move things and wander around upstairs to K2 meter. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So both, both the K2 meter and uh, the bear are going off. Jack, did you die here? It is. Everything's just going off. The, the K2 meter is spiking that red. The bear's going mental. All right, I'm going to have a seat. I'm going to sit back a bit. Jack, um. Oh, this is quite incredible, actually. I'm feeling. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. Jack, do you not like it when people are in your room? Are we welcome here? Okay, just a tiny bit there. Are we welcome in your room? Okay, oh, shit. It's going off like a Christmas tree. Does that mean yes or no? I think, I asked if we're welcome here. Does that mean yes or are we welcome or not? I think we might be welcome here. Jack, can you show yourself? Is that a possibility? We've heard rumors that you do show yourself sometimes to people. I'm kind of nervous about coming in here. Look. The mirror, what mirror? Jack? Can you appear behind me? Hmm. It's like he's gone. Maybe it's just birds. Maybe he's moving from the corridors. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Jack, please try to show yourself to us. The K2, oh, just as the K2 meter was flashing. It's solely focused on the chair. It's on the chair. It's nowhere else. Can you make a loud noise if you're in the room with us? I 
into the corridor? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. Either the door wasn't properly shut, or oh. when I did it, it, it pulled back the handle on itself. You scared the crap out of me. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Honestly, we're alone up here. Seriously, there's no one up here. Is there somebody down here? There couldn't have been noises coming from the side. It's a fire exit. It's, it's a fire exit. There's nothing yeah, there. It's a dead. Turn the uh, lights off for us. Yeah. If we, we if we request it, obviously. I'm here mumbling. Yeah. Why don't we try 205 quickly and have a look in here? Okay. I'll grab the card. Just leave all this here, grab the card, it's there. Yeah, that's fine. Just in case the tapping or banging was in here. Oh, what wait, what? Turn the light on. This wait, this is someone's room. Turn the light on. Turn the light on. There's no one staying in here. There. Wait, what? Unless they checked out. No, they clean it every day, don't they? Yeah. There's no luggage. Are these? This well, has so certainly been used. Oh yeah, it has to be because there's a glass. Yeah, the wine glass and the tea bags here. have these been used. So. But there's no luggage. So they must have checked out. It may be a late checkout. Maybe. What was that? What? The four knocks. Are you sure this isn't the haunted room? I don't know, but this was the one I used to stay in when I used to come here. If there's somebody in here... Here. I'll trade with the camera. Yeah. Oh god, what did you start with? I pick up the spare box, oh. sorry. I'm a bit shaky. Okay. Can you turn that on for me? Oh god, you can't keep that narrow. Yeah. And then just when it's time, just hold down that button. Yeah, that's fine. Hello? I feel weird in this one. Can you warn you? Can you move something in this room? Can you throw something? Try to pick up this glass. It just said this is Jack. He said, said this is Jack. Oh, brilliant. No way. Hello, Jack. Hi. Look around. What? I can't, but I've got a tree. It said this is Jack. Yeah. Jack? Can you, do you need help? See me. See me. If you need help, clearly with purpose, say help me. Uh, 
no, 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 no
No, no, no. Just when you opened the door. The moment you opened the door, the, it went right up to red and was flashing. Is somebody in here? Maybe it's the car door. I don't know. We just tried the last three rooms, but maybe we should try the car door. Yeah. Did you just hear that tap? Yeah, I did. If it's felt and sounded like something. No. Oh, shit. Sure. Sounded like something just dropped on the floor, didn't it? Oh, I thought it was you. No. Well, at least this is good. We can prove to everyone that we are actually alone in this hotel. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to get the smoke. No. The only person here tonight is, um, is Janet. That's all. Right, we've got this 209 and 208. Oh, it's going mental, it's going mental, it's going mental. It's the corridor. The corridor. Wow. Are you out here in the hallway? Why did the, door, the door just <laughs> knocked? Open it. Open it. Are you in here? Yeah, the door just literally knocked on its own. Oh my god. Fucking god. Look at that. Whoa, 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 it, it, whoa, whoa. It, it literally, it just... It's, it's here. And now it just stopped. And the door went... No. Oh my god, it I is... I think it's the corridor. It's going absolutely insane. The K2 meter is in this room. No, but it's been at the last door and here. Yeah, I but think... this is the biggest burst it's had yet. And the door just knocked when you tried to open it. That's a nice noise. That's, that's not creepy, is it? Oh, Are you in here? We're looking for... Oh, we're looking for Jack. Are you Jack? The K2 just keeps spiking randomly. Maybe it's moving then. I think it, it... Even now, even now, it's going red. Orange and red. Are you following us? Yeah, it's going mental. It, it just went, it's spiking like crazy. Are you following us? Babe, it's following us. Jack is following us. See if Jack, see if Jack follows us into the next hallway. Oh, wait, we haven't done 208 yet. It's going mental. smell. That's not like any other room, is it? No, it smells really nice in here. Wow. Well, no, they all smell nice, but I mean like this Oh, do like you feel really... how cold it feels, though? Hey, Jesus Christ, that door's taken me. Oh, piece of furniture. Chest is in. Okay, now we're on the ground floor. We're about to go into one of the off-limits area, or at least we have yeah, access to it. Yeah. This is the function room. This is still part of the old part of the hotel. Yeah, let's get some lights on for a second. Wow. The chandeliers are well nice. Okay. What do you think about doing a Ouija board? A Ouija board? Yeah. Well, let's set up the Ouija board first. I think here at this table might be good. Alright, so I'm going to attempt the Ouija board. I've got a spirit box app running and a K2 meter here. Oh, and you got an SLS yeah. there just in case. Okay. Help us all. Well, it's going mad. It's going mad, yeah. Do you want me to play the Ouija board? I need to stay still. Right. Is there anybody here with us? So the cage is just going mental. It wasn't doing that up until you started recording. I know. And I picked up something on here a minute ago, but I didn't have time to flick it. Is that you? Are you sat at the table here with us? Anybody here? 
It's actually moving. It's actually fucking moving. What? The light? No, <gasps> my, my fucking the planchette. planchette. No, I'm not kidding. No. Jay. It just said Jack on there. Is that your name? I'm covered in chills now. Oh my god. Is your name Jack? I'm not fucking with you. They said Jack there again. It, it did that on its own. I don't like this. Look at that meter, it's not stopped. Jack, do you like living here? It's going up to now. It's gone up to now. Show them. This is crazy. Just stand behind me if you have to. You don't like living here. Just stop. Jack? Is there anything we can do to help you? Okay, it's going mental again. Jack, can we help you in some way, please? It's moving. I need help, it said. That's insane. It's just stopped in the middle of the board. Jack, do you need help? I know, I know. Just, just feeling it. It feels so weird. He doesn't need help. He said no. My, my jacket is getting caught. Oh, my thingy. As my hands are going around. And you're not allowed to take your fingers off there. I, that's just old lifestyle. Let's try again. Okay, Jack, if you don't need help, what do you want? Is this at full volume? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you're, no. The, you're, no. The light just got pushed over. No way. No fucking way. That was propped perfectly. Yeah. I was. You saw me. I was sat there for two minutes. It's been like I don't that. know. It's been like that this whole time. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. You see my hand, my, the hair so on my arms are sticking chills. up. Yeah. Jack, if you don't need help, what do you want? It feels like it's trying to move. Jack, will you show yourself tonight? Would you let us see you tonight? Jack, can you please show yourself tonight? Feel the presence at the moment. No, the meter stopped as well. Yeah. You just it's weird. The it stopped after the. Uh, did you notice the meter stopped after? Yeah. It did not as soon as it fell off. over, and it started again. Okay. Jack, is that your presence? I'm feeling. 
It's like, no, it's, it's definitely trying to move. Jack, try harder. Come through. Can you show yourself tonight? So many people have seen you. I want to see you tonight. These boys aren't doing it anymore. I think he's moved. Jack. Nothing. It's just flashing this thing. Jack, shall I end this Ouija board session? Did you say no, not yet? Did you hear that noise? What? Behind me. No. What noise? I don't know what it was. It's not like someone behind me just moved. Okay. Right. I'm going to end this session. Thank you for communicating. Goodbye. I'm absolutely say, covered yeah, look, we'll in chills. God. Why is this going so mad? I can't understand it. Look, and then it just stops. As soon as you turned off that app. Well, it's not this causing it. I don't know. Don't know. I just checked. I, I turned the solar back on and it didn't affect it. Can you do, can you light up the K2 meter again? This room's giving me a real creepy vibe. Mm. <sighs> okay, so we've had some very interesting communication tonight. I think our best bet now is as soon as the receptionist goes to sleep, which is going to be any time now. Yeah. We try... Do the restaurant. We try to get... Um, yeah. The, we try to capture something, him, himself on camera, or see if he'll walk through the building. or Because they've all told stories about how they always see somebody walking through and there's nobody there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a... You have to admit that was incredible just then. I'm a, yeah, no, I'm a Even bit, my phone falling. I know. I'm I propped a, it up perfectly. There's no way it just fell. I know. I'm, I'm processing it all, really. It, it was weird. Your eyes are really watery. Right, so interesting. I've just been given permission to go behind the bar for a minute. Um, Jack is actually buried within the walls of this building. Um, he was the owner of this establishment before it was a hotel. It was a place called the Privet Bush. Hang on, here's a photo of it. So that's what this place used to look like. And yeah, when he died, they, they buried him in the walls of this building. That's so, incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And it's out on the porch, so where people can stand and smoke, it's out in that bit. Yeah, How so amazing is that? maybe we should go take a look real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in just a few minutes, um, we are going to be covering this bottom layer where the full body apparition gets seen the most. Well, it was at this bar, wasn't it? Yeah. On so CCTV, it was called. They saw somebody at sitting at the bar. And just so you can work out the linking point, how quickly of seeing someone, that is the office right there. So. From where we were stood, obviously when we got the key, you can nip straight out of here. So yeah. if it was a real someone, they would still be sat there, wouldn't have a chance to have obviously moved. Okay, well let's go have a look real quick. Okay. Alright, so apparently his ashes are actually in here. They put him in the building. Yeah, I've just asked her, she's saying all this original brickwork, so under your feet. All this. Yeah. And all the, all of this cycling. Yeah. That's where um his ashes were put into the, the So, bricks. yeah, his ashes are buried in the building. So that would probably So that is Jack, explain. the original owner, when Jack. it was a nightclub. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Interesting. Wow. Right, we should go get prepared to do this bit then. Okay. See if we can actually see Jack with our own eyes. Yeah. All right, so they're going to kill the lights here at the bar. And I'm just going to have a look up here. Oh, the bear has just gone mental. Oh, so it's night vision. 
then it started going off. Yeah, the bear went off. I saw as soon as. Uh... Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's keep those lights off. Yeah, we can do. And then, yeah, if we need to refer back to this, at least. We've got so, out of curiosity, you said that you guys saw someone just sat there, and you looked behind you, and there was no one there. Yeah. That's messed up. And I can see the bears going off. Yeah, you can hear it too. So why don't we go call out real quick and we'll just see what happens. What? Oh, what I would do is I would just see... Just... A figure walk by. Get scared out like everybody else in this pub. Right, well, maybe next time then. Maybe next time. The motion sensing light just went off on its own. Hello? Why that light just come on? This light. That's weird. That's really weird. Hard timing that. All right, I will just have to assume that it doesn't want to talk right now. See anything interesting on the camera? No. Unfortunately not. Well, I, I can obviously look back, but it will just it seem pretty normal. That's all right. I can review it though, obviously. What's that? Just then, there, that was flickering. Something there? That, that was flickering. Go, go back out, go back out. Hang on, hang on. Let's wait, let's watch. Oh, yeah, did you see the little white thing? That, no, there, that started flickering. I'll bring right. this again. Oh, what on. if we tried calling out in here and just see if something appears in yeah, there? Yeah, film the, trying to film the screen. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to go out there with the spirit box? No, 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 just, just stay here for a minute. Did you see that? I saw a weird motion yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah. What? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> if there's somebody out there, we'll stay in here. Oh, see that? Yeah, I saw something weird. Yeah. Can you go up to the, 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 the teddy bear on the chair and affect it? It won't hurt you. Or can you just sh show yourself? In any way, show yourself on camera. I'd be a miracle if something happened. Hmm. All right, Kaylee, you try going out there. And call box. No, don't even bother with the spirit box. Just, just, go, just go out there and call out. I'll film from here. Are you here. sure you want my spirit box? Because it could come out with something amazing. I, I, I was using it the whole time in there. I got nothing. Okay, I just paid you money. All right, Kaylee's going to walk out now. See if maybe it prefers women. Okay, the bear is absolutely spiking now. Yeah. Ask it, ask it to push the bear off the table. Can you push the bear off the table? Or the chair. Interesting. So Kaylee walked out. All of a sudden, it, the energy picked up. Yeah, I'm watching. So it's picking up on an extremely high level of le yeah. electromagnetic frequency. I knew that something went past. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll show itself. Can you can you ask it to show itself? Can you show yourself? I 
Alright, just keep your eyes on the screen. Ask it if it can answer yes or no questions using the bear. Yeah, I can see it saying yes. Ask it if it's Jack, if its name is Jack. Is your name Jack? I'll assume it was a lady. Ask if it's a lady, a woman. A child? Did you see that light on the table? That was odd. Ask it if it's still here. If so, touch the bear. Or affect the device. Hmm. No, nothing now, is a big burst of energy and then gone. Yeah. Are you picking up on anything on screen? Yeah, yeah, that's good, bad. What what is your camera picking up on? What the fuck was that? What the fuck is no. that? No. What? What was that? Could you see did you see that? Who's the what? What the hell was that sound? What sound? The little the little um, No, I just heard that up there, didn't you? Yeah, did you hear? Din, din, din. It sounded like, like the start of um, what's that kid's nursery? Oh, oh I still got no, they wouldn't. It's a lullaby. Did you see that thing flicker all? Oh fuck me! Where did that sound come from? What you just heard? That was like literally right beside you. You just heard a nursery yeah. song. So. I I only had the SLS that I've just opened on my phone. I just had that, and it would make a that sound. Yeah. It wasn't that sound. Here, take it. Go up. Oh go back. God. Go back out there with this camera. Are and you sure? Yeah, yeah. Here, hold it like this. Yeah, yeah. No, I know how to hold the camera. So. Yeah. Go out okay. there and film. Do you want me to take anything with me, like the spirit box? No, no, no. Just keep asking. We'll see if we can spark enough energy. Okay. Oh my god. Sorry, no, no, it's fine. Just some people entered the building I thought was a ghost. <laughs> you just panicked me then. I thought you were a spirit. I'm not that bad, am I? Some people just came in the door and I thought it was a ghost. <laughs> Nearly had a heart attack for a sec. <laughs> do you want me to go back out or do you want me to wait here? Hiya, just taking my time's breakfast in the morning. Well, uh... I'm fine. Just a minute. I literally need time. I just say there's a ghost. <laughs> Apparition, I see it. It's open. It's open. Did you shut it? Yeah, I clicked it. No, no, it's open. Really? Yeah. Well, it twisted, yeah. You can twist it and open it. No, we just pulled it. Well, they were shut properly, yeah. Really? Do you want me to go check it now? Oh, Karen Horn, do you? No, no, you. Oh. Karen Horn, do you want to go check it now? Oh, Karen Horn, do you? Yeah. Alright guys, so it's been an extremely interesting night. Got to do tons of experiments. We have experienced quite a lot that I'm sure the staff here are incredibly excited or and or reluctant to see when the video finally comes out, which oh well, it is what it is. They all know it's haunted anyway. But on that note, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one. Click this link right here. It's an absolute banger of a video, and I'll end it as we always do.